good few years ago, Professor Stephen Rees proposed his theory of 16 basic desires. After conducting studies involving more than 6,000 people, Rees found that 16 basic desires guide nearly all meaningful behaviour. These basic desires are acceptance, curiosity, eating, family, honour, idealism, independence, order, physical activity, power, saving, social contact, status, tranquility and vengeance. These are the things we basically desire. These basic desires represent intrinsic desires that directly motivate a person's behaviour and not aimed at indirectly satisfying other desires. Professor Rees explains his theory well in his book Who Am I? The 16 Basic Desires That Motivate Our Behaviour and Define Our Personality. The professor says these desires are what drive our everyday actions and make us who we are. What makes individuals unique is the combination and ranking of these desires. He also says most of these desires are similar to those seen in animals and seem to have some survival value. This indicates they are genetic in origin. Reese said at least 14 of the 16 basic desires seem to have a genetic basis. Idealism and acceptance don't appear to have a genetic component. Interesting. He's wrote a few books actually, Professor Rees. He is uh, well respected in the field of psychology. I was reading an article on the Ohio State University website the other day. The article is called New Theory Suggests People Are Attracted to religion for 16 reasons. I think this article was written quite a while ago. I'll read you a couple of bits here. In a study published in 2000, Rees found that religious people, the study included mostly Christians, expressed a strong desire for interdependence with others. Those who were not religious, however, showed a stronger need to be self-reliant and independent. The study also showed that religious people valued honour more than non-religious people, which Rees said suggests many people embrace religion to show loyalty to parents and ancestors. How we value and balance the 16 psychological needs is what makes us an individual.
and for every individual there are appealing religious images, he said. The values that guide a personality with a strong need for vindication are expressed by a god of wrath or a god of war, while the values that guide a personality with a weak need for vindication are expressed by a god of forgiveness. The values that guide a personality with a strong need to socialise are expressed by religious fellowship and festivals, while the values that guide a personality with a weak need to socialise are expressed by religious asceticism. Yeah, interesting article. I advise you to check it out. One of the things Reese is saying is individuals differ in how we prioritise our basic desires, thus resulting in different kinds of individuals and personalities. That sounds about right to me. I took some time the other day to sit down and think about the 16 basic desires and I got to thinking about myself and people I know and people I used to know. The more I think about this theory the more it makes sense. I've been through various stages of development in my life, as we all have, and at different times certain needs or desires motivated me more than they do now, you know? Other desires have risen towards the top of my priority list as I've gotten older. Not that I have a formal priority list, you understand. I'm not that organised. But, yeah, I think it's worth sitting down every once in a while and asking yourself such questions as what really motivates me? Why do I do the things that I do? For some people the answers to these questions will be very simple and straightforward. For others, not so. Does everyone have a master desire? One thing that motivates them more than anything else? I was thinking about that the other day too. That's an interesting one to think about. I'm not sure. Perhaps they do. Anyway, peace folks. Have a lovely day.